All right, so we're gonna gear up for the canter. So obviously we're gonna shorten up our reins. And if I was you, I would go into a little jumping position to get, train yourself to get your legs down to see, you know, every stride when you sit, you can see you kick him. He's going forward, you don't need to kick him. Okay. <laughs> so we gotta quiet that leg down. Good, this is a nice frame. But, so he's a little, what I would call strung out. For cantering, right? For trotting, that's beautiful. But for cantering, we want him a little bit more connected. So I would shorten the left rein. That doesn't mean shorten his neck. And he's right now he's going quick. Oh, she's she's going quick to canter. And then you're gonna see you're falling behind the action there. Okay. The horse should canter out of a balanced trot. So let's slow him down. <laughs> there you go. Slow, come on, slower. He doesn't need to rush into the canter. And you need to still shorten your inside rein because he needs to be bending more left. Slow him down. You know, it's almost like you want to think, sit back, collect, spring into a canter, right? right? He's not to rush into the canter. So this is your trot for cantering. So whenever you're ready, you sit. You don't lean back. You sit. Good. Canter. Good. Okay. And we're sitting straight. Elbows forward and back, Miss Susan. Bending them left, bending them left. Easy, good. That's okay, good, very nice. That's fine. I would stretch him down and out now. Slow your trot down. He's running. Stretch him down and out. While he's stretching, think about those legs. <laughs> Press that knee back. Good. Come on, let him go down. He's like, damn, she's on top of me, making me work. <laughs> so now you're gonna bring them back together again, keeping the rhythm, but not quick. Gonna shorten your inside right now. That was a good canter to part. And he didn't run into it either. No more running into the canter. Okay. This is your trot. You're gonna bend them left. You're gonna you sit, swing into the canter. You do not lean back. Good, not good. So you half halt the trot, bring them back, bend them left, rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Bend them left, good. Sit, swing into the canter. Right, good, go, go, yes ma'am. Good, nice canter. Elbows forward and back. Make sure you're in the middle. Toes are up, heels are long. Good, and that's fine. Half halt the trot, half halt the trot. Good, and we're gonna stretch again. He's like, I'm dying. I like to stretch because it sort of erases the hollowness that came when the cantering, when you cantered, okay? So you're gonna gather him up, put him back together. See the leg going out in front of you. The leg needs to go back. Good, and one more time, we usually do it in sets of three. You need to shorten the rein, inside rein. When you sit, swing into the canter. Do not lean back. Right, good, good, good. Kick, kick, good, good, good. Right, so you see his neck gets short and gets hollow. Right, he needs, you, right, first we gotta keep him cantering before we can really change any of that, right? But he needs to stretch down more at the canter. And that's okay too. So it's good, fine. Now eventually, when he does canter with the correct neck, we're not gonna stretch anymore. So let's do a little jumping position. Get those leg, leg, <laughs> and you can just walk. 